Hey guys, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I have so many paints behind me, but I am still going to mix my own colors tonight. Sometimes you just can't find the color that you're looking for and mixing your own colors and having that kind of in your tool belt is so amazing and can produce some amazing paintings. So let's paint. Hi everybody! I am going to do a green base pour. So this was from when I asked for recommendations of colors. I'm not using the exact colors that they had recommended um, in the um, comments, but I really liked their idea for a green. Now, there are tons of shades of green that are out there. Um, and so I had picked a Viridian green, but, and this is Creative Inspirations, but when I used it um, and spread it out a little bit, it was, um, it's a very transparent, semi-transparent color, and which is why I painted my sides as well, but also it was just a tiny bit too green for what I wanted. So I added a little bit of phthalo blue, and I actually got a little bit closer to almost like a phthalo green color. So it's a beautiful color. If you want to mix your own shades, um, I will see about at the end of the video giving you a little snippet of how you can read the color. Um, I have a, a golden one that I can show you and then you can mix any color you want. So I'll walk you through because I mixed almost every single color here tonight. So I'm going to start and I encourage you guys to do this. If you really want to experiment, take the paints out of the tube and go wild with it. Mix them together, mix them with different colors, mix it with a little bit of white or black. You can really get some beautiful saturations and just gorgeous, gorgeous uh, pigments out of it. So let me get my blow dryer. Okay, so I forgot to say at the beginning as well that I used just a little bit of my regular pouring medium because that Creative Inspirations does not hold up as well to paint and water. Um, some of the student grades do not. So I did use maybe about 25%, 20% um, pouring medium in this one just, and I left it a little bit thicker. So you guys probably couldn't see on there um, but I, I had to hold the blow dryer really close to the canvas and push it. Um, I ended up dipping my blow dryer in the paint a little bit a couple of times. Um, but when you're using the blow dryer, try to use it like a paintbrush. Move the paint where you want with the blow dryer. Use it as a tool. Um, you know, you got to think about where you want to blow the paint. Okay, so let me tell you about the colors that I mixed. I wanted a Naples yellow, um, but I didn't want to use this Artist Loft and I really don't have that much left of it. So I mixed Titanium White and Azo Yellow Deep and I got this beautiful um, Naples yellow color. I took a little bit of Prussian Blue and mixed it with Thalo Blue because I wanted, this is a deep dark saturation color and I wanted the same, I didn't want a super bright color there. Um, this one right here is one that I mixed out of um, Creative Inspirations Gold, and then I took a little bit of bronze, and it made like a, almost like an Arteza Copper Gold, gorgeous color. I took, for this one I used the Berry Metallics right here, and a Rose Mater to create this gorgeous, gorgeous, rich berry color. And then my white, that's the only one that hasn't been mixed. All these colors have been mixed. So create something unique that you love. You don't have to do it with just the regular tubes. You can use your imagination. All right, now I've got to figure out how I want this. So I, I know that I want, I'm gonna do this design again, the side design that I've been doing. This time I think I'm gonna blow 
a little bit more on the inside here on these portions and still have these kind of trails. So just playing around with this one. So I think I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna do a little bit more in the center there and then kind of trail up. Come around like this. A little bit more in the center there because this part I'm gonna blow inward. Everybody's been asking me to blow inward. So I said, okay, fine, I'll do it. Um, now I'm gonna go with, hmm. I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my yellow next because if this is green, I'm okay with this doing a little bit of green. Ooh, I've already got a really pretty bright green out of that. Okay, woo, whoops, we'll blow that off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next I'm going to go with, <laughs> I crack myself up. So when you're using this deco art berry, it tends to, and I, that's why I added a little bit of paint to it, it tends to kind of separate out and you get this beautiful top film, but some people don't like that and they think that it's separated. So you can always just add a little bit of paint or add a little bit extra pouring medium, things like that to it. Oh, my white. I think I want maybe just a little bit more. Ooh, I don't know. A little bit more color on this. A little bit more color there. And I kind of want this yellow to pop. So maybe I'll do just a little bit more. Just a teeny. Okay. Now, I already had a good amount of berries, so I'm gonna do a little bit of white. Not much white either, because I don't want this to go to like a pastel. And I've already got a white in the yellow, so. Okay, now, this has just a, t it's got a copper feel to it, but just like a tiny bit of a reddish hue, which I think will go really well with this painting. Sometimes just a regular gold, this is almost like an old gold, but sometimes a regular gold just doesn't go with your painting, but sometimes bronze is too red and copper is too brown. So this is perfect to kind of mix this up. I do think I want a little bit more white there. Okay, so since I am gonna blow in this way, I am gonna add just a little bit of the paint here, a little bit of the paint here, bit on the outside. This is just to help this flow. Okay, let me give this a torch and then we'll see what we get. A lot of air bubbles that popped there. Hmm, okay. Whoa. Let's see, let's see.
almost like a square. So a couple of things. I wish I hadn't flooded this part right here because um, this color ended up kind of eating up these colors. So I wish I hadn't done that. Um, the composition is not there right now for me. So I'm going to play around with it and see what I can get. This is very different from what I normally do. So yeah, the, the colors are beautiful. The cell reaction is crazy, 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 crazy. I'll show you when I get down here. Um, but I, it ju I just need to fiddle. I'm not used to having these big parts. I normally blow on the sides of mine and then I create these wispies. So I might even blow out and just cover it a little bit more in the center and see what I get. But I don't know, let me, I'll play. I will play. And then I'll show you guys the dried result and then I'll try to show you that golden label, okay? Okay, here it is and this is, so, I mean, like, look at these cell reactions. This is because that base is Creative Inspirations and it mixed with the um, titanium white and the Naples yellow that I mixed. That's what's creating that and that berry. But look, look at this webbing and lacing right here. Whoa, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Now for me, a little busy, <laughs> but it reminds me of a flower garden, kind of. So even though it's not what I normally do, I really like it. I like the addition of the phthalo blue, created almost a pretty purple tone in some places. So I encourage you, play around with your colors your design. Oh my gosh. I, this is growing on me more and more. I don't know. You guys always let me know, but yeah. All right. I will show you the pigment label and then I'll show you the dried result. Okay. So this probably isn't the best color to show you on, um, but this is light phthalo blue. You can see it's a pretty opaque color because it has titanium white in it. This is Golden's brand, but if you look here, this is what's important here. If you look where it says um, pigment right here, the P stands for pigment and it's pigment white, which is the titanium white and pigment blue and this 1513, that's phthalo blue for this company. So this color is a mixture of white and blue and that's it. To get this color here which is very close to an Amsterdam sky blue so you don't have to buy this tube you can simply research it online and see what colors make up a color that you're going for and mix it out of the paints that you have you may want to think about what brand you're using um, and because you know the better the brand that you're using obviously the more true the pigments normally are some of these off brands or student grade brands i'm not saying that they're bad at all they're not but they just don't have the same colors for instance my creative inspirations my Payne's gray is actually much more like a prussian blue but that is how you read that right there and so for something like a viridian or a phthalo green it would have different mixtures here sometimes there's like four or five colors that are here but a lot of times it's normally two or three colors that are mixed together normally out of the primary colors are white and black um, but you can always look this up online and it can give you a good indication it doesn't always tell you what part you need to mix out of each one. Um, but say you wanted a little bit darker, you would add a little bit more blue. Say you wanted it a little bit lighter, you would add more white and you can um, do, you know, mix your own this way. So this is a really helpful, and you can look it up. There's charts online, there's charts for different brands of how they mix it. Um, but that's kind of my starting point for how I decide what I'm gonna mix together to get a color. And sometimes I just do it by feel. Sometimes I just mix a color, eyeball it, and see if I like it or not, right? All right, hope this was helpful. I'll show you the dried result. I cannot be happier.
actually. This grew and grew and grew on me every time I went to check on it. The cells are just perfect in this and there's so many small details just everywhere. Everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely going to call this one Flower Garden. But look at the colors that I ended up mixing together. I feel like they're not ones that you normally see. Oh, the details are just amazing. It's really, really pretty. So less negative space and that green color dried. I may have actually have should have gone with the regular Viridian color because look at how dark that green color dried. Absolutely stunning though. I really like it. You guys can let me know what you think. Yeah, and then that gold color. So it's got some, some deeper color to it. It's not just a regular gold, and I think it plays so well with the other colors. Choosing your color palette is like half the battle, and when you can mix your own, your arsenal becomes so much larger. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your comments and your support. I appreciate you all. Happy painting. Bye.